Because Lubbock Swim Club is a small program, it's not very publicized, like in Lubbock you don't just hear about swimming all the time, um, but my sisters got into it and I'd be dragged to the pool every day and uh, so one day I was just like, Mom, can I swim? And so, as I said, it's a smaller program and the head coach there and he, now he kind of he runs the whole facility. Um, Trey Hayes, we got, we became pretty familiar with him and now we're really good family friends with him. So we really just love everything about Lubbock Swim Club and it's growing with that. And um, I think he's doing a great thing there and he's kind of helped me and my, the rest of my family um, develop as swimmers and as people in general. His goals were even sometimes loftier than mine and as Carol and I'm sure people know now, my goals are pretty high up there. And so for his to be even higher, I think he's the one who kind of drilled that confidence in me and was like, yes, like, look at this, like, showed it to me, spelled it out on paper. This is where you, like, there's no reason for you not to be here. There's nothing holding you back. And so I think his, those conversations with him and those um, lessons that I learned from him have kind of stuck with me and obviously developed even more under Carol, but I think he kind of laid the foundations in that. I think those little steps uh, that I've taken all since growing up, you know, first it was winning tags, the Texas Age Group Championship, and then it got to state, and you know, you, I had that first year that was kind of a humbling experience, I didn't win, and then you come back at it with confidence, and you know, like, you know what you can do and what you're capable of, and um, every race is another kind of trial like that. You just see what else you're made of. Going to tri that trial is really kind of, it was just an experience and like, that's what it was and I was hoping to get experience for possibly 2016 and I think it also helped me reset my goals. You know, I realized I don't want to come to the next Olympic trials and get 60 something. You know, I don't know, I don't want to be a mediocre swimmer who's just kind of in, a, in the face of a crowd. I wanted to be something else. I wanted to set my par myself apart and so I, I remember going home that summer and actually writing out goals, writing out specific, this year I want to go this and two years I want to go this, four years this is what, this is where I want to be and I remember sitting there and making a plan for myself and actually having something that we're like this is what I want swimming this is where I want swimming to take me and this is where I want to be and this is who I want to be.